The Trustee's Guide to Conflict of Interest Claims A conflict of interest for a trustee occurs when the trustee's personal interests potentially conflict with their responsibilities to trust beneficiaries. What qualifies as a conflict of interest for a trustee? Trustees owe what is called a fiduciary duty to the trust and its beneficiaries. This means that the trustee must manage the trust in the best interests of the trust and place the interests of its beneficiaries above their own interests. Some types of conflicts of interest are referred to as self-dealing. This occurs when the trustee conducts transactions on behalf of the trust that benefit themselves rather than the beneficiary's best interests. A trustee cannot use trust property in financial transactions that serve their own interests more than the trust's interests. Some common examples of conflicts of interest in self-dealing include 1. Investing trust assets in a personal business venture. 2. Using funds from the trust to pay personal obligations. 3. Selling trust property to yourself as a trustee or a business entity that you own or perhaps even another trust that you manage for less than fair market value. 4. Using trust funds to purchase property from yourself for more than market value. 5. Hiring the trustee's business to perform services for the trust. 6. Charging excessive trustee fees. 7. Gaining a business advantage through a financial transaction with a beneficiary. 8. Making investment decisions that benefit the trustee, but not the beneficiaries. How do you prove conflicts of interest? To prove a conflict of interest, you'll need to show that the trustee has interests that are adverse to the trusts and that the trustee is acting to benefit himself rather than the trust and its beneficiaries. There are several exceptions to the self-dealing prohibition, however. One, when the trust instrument specifically allows for it. Two, when the probate court approves of a transaction. Three, when the beneficiaries consent to a transaction. Four, when the beneficiaries fail to challenge a transaction within the time limits. How can a trustee avoid conflicts of interest? The best way for a trustee to avoid a conflict of interest is to be completely transparent about the transactions they're undertaking on behalf of the trust. Trustees are not prohibited from conducting transactions that benefit themselves, as long as the transaction also and primarily benefits the trust. If you take the right steps, including obtaining pre-approval from the court or the beneficiaries, you can legally complete a mutually beneficial financial transaction with the trust. However, if you don't follow the proper process or keep the beneficiaries informed, even well-intentioned transactions that do benefit the trust can become illegal conflicts of interest. Because a trustee has a fiduciary duty to the trust and its beneficiaries, trustees must do the following. One, always put the beneficiary's interests above their own. Two, always act in good faith when managing the trust. Three, take reasonable and fair actions when administering the trust. Four, be honest and transparent about all information pertaining to the trust. And five, treat beneficiaries with respect and kindness. If a trustee sticks to these simple rules, they likely can avoid a conflict of interest or even the appearance of one. Also, where practical, it's best practice to make sure that you have reasonable and documented explanations for all of the decisions you make and the actions you take regarding the trust. Can you sue a trustee for conflict of interest? Yes, a trustee can be sued for conflict of interest if you believe that they breached their fiduciary duty and engaged in self-dealing. To prove a breach of fiduciary duty claim under California law, you have to prove all of the following. One, that a fiduciary relationship existed. This is automatically true in a trustee-beneficiary relationship. Two, that the trustee breached one of their fiduciary duties. And three, that the breach cause damage. Some examples of fiduciary breach for which a trustee can be sued include one, embezzling or otherwise misappropriating trust property, two, self-dealing or self-serving transactions, three, causing loss or harm through a wrongful act or omission, four, acquiring funds through fraud, deceit, or even undue influence, five, commingling trust assets with personal assets. Even if a trustee discloses a conflict of interest, they can still be sued if they conduct a self-dealing transaction without getting proper approvals, or if the trustee misrepresented the consequences of the transaction. When should a trustee contact a trust litigation lawyer? A trustee should contact a trust litigation lawyer 
as soon as possible after they've been accused of a conflict of interest or breaching a fiduciary duty. It's also a good idea to hire an estate litigation attorney as soon as you're appointed as a trustee, especially if it's your first time serving in that role. That attorney can help explain the relevant laws on self-dealing, conflicts of interest, etc., and help you avoid potential liability, breaches, etc. If you've recently been appointed to administer a trust, you should consult with counsel as soon as you can. Retaining a lawyer when you're first appointed can help you avoid problems down the road. Have questions? At RMO, we protect people like you every day. Give us a call, shoot us an email. The consultation's always free. Thanks for watching.